So for this project, I started with a 10 by 20 inch canvas that I had painted burgundy red. And then I used this stencil that I had picked up from Amazon that says jingle all the way. And I used this Sharpie oil-based marker and I filled in the entire stencil. I don't use paint anymore because I'm a real sloppy um, stenciler and this is just what works best for me. And it is oil-based and I have had problems with other markers and the oil-based markers don't seem to cause any problems with the resin. They do not run. Next, I took this gold metallic oil-based marker. It's called Deco Color Premium and I went ahead and traced around the entire stencil that I had just done in black. And again, this is an oil-based marker. It doesn't interfere with the resin. It does not run when you put resin over So it. next I went on the computer under free clip art and found these bells. And what I did was I printed it the one out and I uh, resized it into three different sizes. Then I took them and put tracing paper underneath them and traced each of the bells out. In the order I'm doing this in, um, <laughs> I should be do it, doing the painting first, but I'll, I'll show you what I do wrong in a couple minutes. So I have it all traced out and then I take clear Elmer's glue and trace over the trace lines. Then I take this four millimeter rhinestone that I had picked up at Amazon and I put it around all of the Elmer glue or trace lines. These um, four millimeter rhinestone chains do need to be cut and there's a black handled scissors that I'm using there. It's a heavy duty scissors and um, it cuts them just fine. I also picked that up on Amazon. You can cut it with the regular scissors but you will end up ruining your regular scissors. So I continue on with the rhinestone chains, cutting them and placing them on all three of the bells. Next, I take the four millimeter black rhinestone chain and I go ahead and I make the little openings that you would see at the bottom of the bell in black. And I use the four millimeter rhinestone chains to make the big line. And then I take the little uh, two millimeter rhinestone chains and um, make the little circle. It's kind of hard to see here. And, um, <clears throat> and in the center of the tiny uh, rhinestone chain that makes the circle, I put one of the big four millimeter crystals. So next I realize I should have painted the center of the bells gold. And this should have been done before I even put any of the rhinestones down, but too late now. So I go ahead and I fill each one of them in with the gold. And the reason I'm doing this is when you put glass down on it, on the bells, and then you put resin over it, some of it becomes translucent and you can see the color underneath. So um, it's in your best interest after you trace out the bell to go ahead and paint it gold. Next, I fill each of the bells in with the gold glass. I call it gold glass, but you get it at Michael's. It's Ashland Decorative Filler, and the color is actually yellow. Do not order the gold glass because I made that mistake and it wasn't gold. This color that they call yellow is the closest to gold. Then I just kind of straightened it around in each of the bells. So next I decided I needed two more bells. So this time I traced it out and then painted it in before I put the rhinestones on. And then I went ahead and finished the other two bells the same way I had done the previous three, only this time they were already painted in the middle and that way I didn't get any paint on the rhinestones. Next, I took this triple wide rhinestone chain that again I had picked up on Amazon and I went ahead and I attached each of the bells together by using this. It's real pretty. It's green in the center and little gold um, rhinestones all the way down. And then I kind of made loops on each of the um, bells with about, the, about that length. And I kind of put it on top of and under each one all the way through. And now it's all ready for resin. Just so you know, you can see some of the Elmer's glue that I had gotten on some of the canvas. 
well that will disappear when you pour the resin over it it will actually hide it hey everyone jingle all the way <laughs> i love these little bells on here i was trying to think of another way to do it so i was thinking on if you have a tall long one like this only a little bit wider you could put the jingle all the way across the top and then have three bells hanging down large bells hanging down i might try that stay tuned <laughs> so um after the camera went off i did put some uh little sparkles on it can you see it i did i didn't put a whole lot i just put a few on i thought that would add a little bit of something and again this glass is the yellow ashland decorative filler it is not gold don't order the gold because um it's called yellow and that looks like gold and these little chains here I thought were so pretty. Well, these chains here I get off of Amazon, but this uh, triple wide one I got off of Amazon too. And at first I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. I think I was thinking I was going to do an outline on a Christmas tree with it. But um, it worked out perfect for this whole, you know, looking like it's holding all the bells together. So anyway... <laughs> Um, if you have any questions, uh, my email is under my about information or you can ask under the comments. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel. And if you um, want to be notified, go ahead and subscribe and it'll, they'll notify you when another video comes out. And I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching.